Hi, I am Sanjay Lard. Welcome to another video of Mendelian Genetics. In today's session, we'll talk about law of segregation. Now, what is law of segregation? Now, word segregation means separation. Now, here separation of what? Separation of say alleles. Now, when these alleles get separated, they get separated during gamete formation. But when these alleles come together, so the answer is fertilization. Now, students. The steps like say fertilization, gamete formation, we have seen these steps in one of the previous video, and the link of that video is given in the I section. So please check that. Now with this information, we'll see what is the law of segregation. Students, let us understand law of segregation with this example. Like when we cross a pure tall pea plant with a pure dwarf pea plant, now these parent form the gametes. Now here, first parent forms these two gametes. The second parent forms say these two gametes. Now as these gametes are same, so we'll write it say once. Now this first gamete contain uh, capital T allele. The second gamete contains small t alleles. Now what happens further that during process of fertilization, allele come together during fertilization. They remain together without mixing, and they get separated during next round of gamete formation. So in nutshell, what is happening, students? That this capital T and small t they come together during fertilization. Now they remain together without mixing. So here capital T is just masking the effect of small t. So capital T is expressed, small t is suppressed. So here what is happening? Small t is not disappearing totally. So when it gets chance during separation of like separation during gamete formation, these alleles get separated. So next round of gamete formation forms. So first gamete with capital T, second gamete with small t. So here, as gametes contain only one of the two allele, uh, here first gamete contains capital T allele and second gamete contains small t allele. As gamete contain only one of the two allele, so it expresses only one character. So in first case, it will express as tall character. In second case, it expresses as dwarf character. So here, these gametes are said to be pure for its character these gametes are said to be pure for its character so students therefore this law of segregation is also called as law of purity of gametes and very important thing is this law is universally applicable so students uh, in this flowchart we can understand two laws one is law of dominance and second is law of segregation so if you uh, like solve this example up to this capital T small t so that is a law of dominance. So what is happening here? Like capital T is expressed, small t is suppressed. So there is law of dominance. Now during gamete formation, what is happening? These alleles get separated. So that is law of segregation. So I hope you are understanding law of segregation. And this law is universally applicable. So students, the statement of law of segregation can be written as alleles come together during fertilization. They remain together without mixing and they get separate during next round of gamete formation. So students here remember these two words. One is fertilization and second is gamete formation. So simply what is happening during fertilization the gametes or alleles come together and during next round of gamete formation the alleles get separated. So here as the gamete contain only one of the two alleles therefore gametes are said to be pure for its character. So therefore law of segregation is also called as law of purity of gametes and very important thing that this law is universally applicable so students i hope you are understanding law of segregation and at the end so i request you all to like share and subscribe my videos with the subscription you can get the link of my new videos and you can see the link of my previous videos in the description box below so please check that so thank you for watching this video